Hello, this is my brother's iPod. It's an iPod Touch. It has a 32 gigabyte. It's a 3G and the model number is an A1318. How I know that is by looking on the back of the iPod. And what this tells you right here is the model number which I had to use a magnifying glass to be able to see but it's still very hard because of the way that this iPod is made this scratches off pretty easily so what I ended up doing was drawing on it with a permanent marker and then I used my finger to wipe it into this little writing right here and then I was able to use a magnifying glass after I wiped the permanent marker off and actually be able to see the serial number to be able to find out what software I needed to download. What happened to this iPod is that it's locked and my brother forgot the passcode one of his friends was sitting and playing with it and trying to figure out what the password was and it ended up being locked. The original message on this was more than just the iPod is disabled, try again in 15 minutes. If you try the passcode first it will say it will let you try the passcode a lot of times. Then it's going to tell you to try again in one minute, then five minutes, now 15 minutes. If you keep doing this it will lock the iPod back to the way that it, this iPod was locked to begin with when my brother first gave it to me because he could not figure out how to unlock it. I googled on how to unlock an iPod Touch, read a lot of things and tried a lot of different things and nothing that I tried worked. Until I did a combination of three different things that people were saying to do and the first one is to download the latest version of iTunes so here's iTunes the latest version you just go to iTunes or Apple.com and it's free to download download the iTunes it takes a while because it wasn't downloaded on this computer of mine so I waited for it to completely install. Then I went to a website on how to unlock and found some firmware. I will put this at this um, address link in the video so that you can go to it and find this software. This is for an iPod right here. Down here is for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, iPad, and Apple TV. What you're going to do is figure out which of these you need to download. Now my brother's iPod is actually, I don't know how well you can see this, but my brother's iPod actually needs this software the 4.1 slash 8B117. I, on, I ended up downloading a few of these trying to figure out and if, if it's one that won't work then when you go into iTunes and do what, I'm, do what I tell you to do then it will just kick you out and you'll have to come back to this website download another one of these until you find which one will work with your i to unlock it. So first we downloaded iTunes, the latest version, and now we're downloading the firmware. After you do this and these completely install, and it will take a while to completely install, you want to wait until the download, usually down here it'll say downloading and then it'll give you a percentage. You wait until that's completely done. When it is, then shut down your computer and restart your computer. 
I tried it without restarting my computer and I did not have luck the first time. Once I restarted it, it did come back up and this worked. And like I said, the iPod was more than just disabled like this. It actually had like a more stuff right up here saying to connect to iTunes and something else. I just relocked this so that I can do this and show you what happened. So iTunes, the firmware, and then I also went to YouTube and I looked at all these different videos and I had to do a couple of the things that these people suggest. And the first one is to hold down. First you want to um, Well, you can open iTunes, so I will open it. It's just on my desktop. Hopefully my battery doesn't go dead in the next 10 minutes. And nothing's plugged in, so you just, I'm gonna put this down like this. Oops. Hold down the home button, plug in, the iPod. It will say sync in progress. Slide to open and it's going to ask you to enter the password again. Okay, good. Try again. And then it says to try again in one minute. So when you come on here, it's going to say different things. Say no thanks. Um, because I had unlocked it, I'm just going to go into it. If you can't get to this, then you're going to need, to, that's why you hold the home button and plug it in because then this will come up. Now I can, you're going to press the shift key and then click on this restore button which is going to be hard to do with one hand while holding the computer, but let's see. Shift and then restore. What this does is open up the download. I'm trying to do this quickly so my computer, and what you're going to do is whichever one was the last one that you downloaded, you're, this is what you're going to try. These are ones that I had already downloaded and it didn't work. You hit open and then iTunes will erase and restore your iPod and will verify the restore with Apple. So you click on restore. It's going to extract in the software. And it's actually going to go through this. My camera will die before this happens. But it's going to go through the loop and just reset the iPod and it'll verify it with the store. We'll just watch this until until it does something, until my battery goes dead. Then the video is going to end. But now you see that this was locked and now it's starting to do different things. This is going to erase everything that you have on the iPod, but if you have iTunes, then you would have all of your music in there anyway, so it's not going to matter. You just reload all of your songs back onto there. The, it, re, it does it to the factory settings, so maybe any of the applications that you downloaded will be lost, but this is better than having no iPod at all, so this makes it a lot easier. And I'll just continue doing this until it dies. Oh, we're almost on 10 minutes here. So it might, it, originally it's going to ask you to fill in the name as well. And you're going to have to rename it 
and then it's just going to restore, see how it just says at the top iTunes what it's doing, restoring iPod software, and then you're going to, it'll ask you to rename it, and then it's going to let you put everything on there that you want. And if you have any problems, just ask me questions, and I'll answer as best I can to help you, because I know this was a really frustrating thing for my brother to not have his iPod because it holds 7,000 songs and he loves this. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just ask.